Hello, everybody. I am Alphabird. Welcome to a new video today. We're taking a look at Regiments. There's a brand new demo on Steam for the game. It's a real-time tactics game set in Germany 1989 with the Cold War Gone Hot scenario and scheduled for a release date in June 2021, it looks like. Uh, it's scheduled to have a strategic dynamic campaign encompassing warfare around the inner German border. Today, we're going to be playing a, a game from the demo. It's on Steam. It's available for anyone to play. So if you get the opportunity, download it and give it a try. Uh, we're going to be playing the game mode attack. We've got to capture and hold key points to win. Uh, we need to act quickly and be prepared for counterattacks. We're on the map Steinbach. We're going to be playing as the Warsaw Pact, the 61st Guards Tank Regiment. We're up against NATO playing uh, a Sergeant difficulty. I've set a time limit of 20 minutes because I want to play all three game modes. Uh, so we're going to do one video per game mode. Look out for the future videos if you want to see the meeting engagement game mode and the mobile defense. Actually, I really enjoyed playing all three of these game modes, so I definitely recommend you check out those videos. Let's head into the action. Uh, we're playing attack. This is my starting setup. I've got some T-80Us, uh, BDRM scouting units. We've got some supply trucks, a Tunguska and some BMP2 with 21 riflemen in there. We're going to push forwards, attack Alpha and Beta. Then we're going to swing to the sides, attack Theta and Zeta. And then we're going to um, push in, attacking Eta and then the city Delta Gamma Epsilon. So, yeah, kind of strange the uh, Greek names that they've gone with and not with the standard kind of military... Uh, phonetic names that you'd usually expect. Uh, let's th get things underway. Let's get started. We'll push the BDRMs forwards, uh, Tunguskas, riflemen as well, and T-80Us. It's going to be fairly simple to start with, but uh, I've played this once before. I just literally had a quick skirmish match to make sure I kind of knew what I was doing, and then we're going to push through and have a game. So, we should be okay. It's going to be um, kind of a reasonably simple start, and then we'll start building up the units that we've got access to uh, as we go. we got some kind of tactical weapons on the side as well that we'll get to use. We've got some SU-22s with uh, two times bombs, kind of like off-map aircraft. Uh, BDRM-2s are in place. I really don't want to get split on the defense here. Looks like we got a first contact in there. HQ squad, so let's just back off, push the T-80s forwards. Oh, okay, well. Let's pull the BDRMs back. The actual Tunguska's getting involved. Let's jump out the riflemen out of the squads. Um, we still don't have enough for any other unit at this point. Luke's is going down. The T-80s I'm a little bit worried about here. Just bring the Tunguska back. You can face armor in this game, but I'm not quite sure it's exactly required. Um, I think the units do reface. I haven't played this a substantial amount, so I'm not going to pretend that I can give you a full rundown of what's going on. We'll bring out the HQ section, which is some T-80Us. Uh, the riflemen, when they're out of the transports... They move like really slow, but obviously it's kind of the, t the transports stay with them. I guess it's how they would attack in real life. S somewhat, although the transports will probably stay a bit further back and let the riflemen push forward on foot with the transports providing covering fire. Um, but it kind of simulates the fact that the transports can't run off and go attacking some different section. A bit like they can in Steel Division 2, so swings and roundabouts really. Uh, we've lost eyes on the units. I think my BDRMs... Yeah, I've managed to fix that up, so I've got two of those available again. Let's push them forwards. HQ section, they give bonuses. Uh, it says... Somewhere. 
Um, I think it's this stuff here. I can't exactly run through it because it would take me time to pause and work out what's going on. I've also set a 20 minute time limit for this game because I, there's a couple of different modes and I want to run through a couple of them in the videos. So I don't want to be, I, I want to make the, the games kind of as short as I can so that I'm able to cover a few different games. We'll keep the Tunguska close. Move the supply truck up a little bit. Uh, engage in some Leopard 2A4s. That are dug in. You can see that here. So you can kind of have units in place. And looks like we're under artillery fire. I want to capture Beta. Just push forward with the T-80s. Force available. And we get access to a new task force. So this, I, this is really cool. Um, you can, it kind of adds to the units that you can deploy on the ground. It gives you various task forces. Um, it pauses the game so you can read it all through. I'm not going to read through all of the stuff you've got access to, but it also gives you kind of cool tactical weapons as well. I really kind of like this. It's, um, yeah, it is, it is pretty cool. I'm actually going to select something with an anti-ear unit. So I think we'll go with the... I think I'm going to go with the, the Tetis. Task force formed by mechanized infantry, versatile, excellent defense, and close quarters combat, but can be suboptimal in fields. We've got the T-80Us. I've got some big heavy tanks. Uh, don't quite need any more T-64s. I do want an anti-ear weapon, so the Shilka should be able to give me uh, some some anti-air coverage and the bmps with the riflemen should give me some ground coverage so they now get added to the forces that you can bring out and we are going to get both of those riflemen out on the ground so i want to capture alpha now as well oh my supply trucks don't want to lose them that was a bit bad uh let's quickly call in some aircraft and we got some fuchs with the jaegers over there as well that the T-80s are going to start attacking. Um, let's watch. Find, here come the aircraft. You can't really zoom in on them and track, I don't think. So I'm trying to do a bad camera job. Ooh, it looks like he has got some AA there as well. Um, it's going to be kind of tough to take them down. And I've noticed it can take a while to, you know, destroy units. So I don't know whether I'm just not fighting correctly, but there are units are strong when they're in place in this game. And in this game mode, we are attacking the AIs defending, so all of their units are going to be in place. Uh, it looks like we got a counter attack onto three platoons. I think they're going to counterattack to beta. There is like a recon um, version you can get on the tactical. Uh, what what were the tactical points? I think they're called. Um, so you can sort of recon areas. It's almost a little bit like ruse in a way, isn't it? Where you get those cards and you can do various things. But I guess it's not really like that. They're just off map kind of devices. But the recon one's a little bit more like that. And the, everything's fire on the Fuchs Jaeger. Okay, so we've dispatched them. Uh, I kind of just want these riflemen to keep moving forwards. And the BDRMs get back on the front. My HQ can stay somewhat in the area. And um, we're going to resupply my riflemen. Uh, you can change the stance. So I'm going to put the riflemen back in the transports and they should stop moving faster now. And you can also use fast move, although I don't really think there's a difference between fast move and move. And like fast move and attack move. Attack move means they stop. But it's not like fast move makes them use roads. They just continue to go over the normal terrain. Which I think is a little bit of a missed opportunity. Looks like we spotted something over on the left. Um, but I want to take Alpha, some infantry. Try and push through the T-80 HQs. Try and keep them protected. And i got to remember to keep my spend up. I'm going to bring in a shield car. Oh, those BDRMs just missed the artillery play. And we've got a little while before we can get an artillery barrage on. 
Um, but we should start capturing Alpha now, which is pretty important. I then want to swing left and right, so I'm going to have to split my forces up. But I should get access to a new task force in 45 seconds, so I'll be able to do that. I think I want some more tanks. So, I mean, I do still have two platoons of T-80s to get access to. And some more BDRM, uh, BRDMs, because they just got destroyed. Um think by this counter-attack and I don't want to use use my Tunguska you can retreat units by double tapping whatever you've got as the re retreat command uh, I've changed my hotkeys to uh, kind of more closely link with Steel Division 2 so I'm not completely uh, losing out uh, and making big mistakes on the uh, uh, hotkey front. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on several things at once here. Looks like they're attacking with several tanks. Uh, Leopard 1 fours. Uh, we just get access to some T-80Us, so let's get them out on the ground. The BMPs. Shilko will keep back. Losing a lot of infantry. Not quite got any points for anything special. Uh, this one's not going so well right now. Let's try and back off the T-80Us. We've lost... A lot of those T-80Us there. We did get rid of the Jaegers on the left. Uh, I'm going to button up those BMPs and push them back to get repaired. These guys I'm going to leave out and hopefully they'll start engaging the T-80Us. You do need to resupply your ammunition as well. I'm going to unload these BMP-2s. Just get them moving on fire. I really want to deal with these Leopard 1A4s before pushing left and right. We do have... Tactical weapons available now, but it's a bit late. Here come the enemy aircraft. We've got a shield cart in the area. Tunguska is a bit far back. The uh, air combat's mm, kind of hard to work out what's happening, if I'm honest. You know, it's it's a bit hard to work out whether you're shooting things down or whether you're... Well, clearly we just shot down a Thunderbolt. The, um, <laughs> the enemy, the AI are playing NATO. That was kind of cool. Uh, but I don't exactly know what regiments they're playing. It does tell me in the game, but I can't remember. Right, we're going to push left with the BMPs and the T-80Us. Um, I'm going to bring up my BR, uh, BRDMs for them. I'm going to keep the Tunguska on the left. Uh, these guys need to fix up. Push the... T-80U forwards, in fact, I'm going to bring it back to resupply. Don't want the Tunguska too far forward. They've actually done a really good job so far of holding me back, because I've only got 10 minutes left. So, I, I did make it really hard for me. Uh, let's drop a bomb on them. And we do have a new task force available. So, I wanted some cheaper tanks. We've got some tank destroyers here. With riflemen, or we've got tanks and assault engineers, or tanks and anti-air. I don't think I need anti-air. Um, the assault en engineers also, from the looks of it, have anti-air. That's kind of their special weapon, along with a 30mm auto cannon on the BMP-2. But I think I might go for the tank destroyers, because I also want infantry. It's, it's good to have artillery, but I need to start attacking. Um... So the question is, I think, do I go for Kalina with the BTR 70s? Seven, which are, does it tell me how much they are? Not 100% sure. 14.5 machine guns. Or the BMP3, which are 30mm autocannons. Um, there's a difference. They've got an artillery call-in and they've got smoke. Hmm. I actually think the artillery call-in might be more advantageous. But then, no, let's go with the BMP. Th oh, wow. I've never scrolled down before. <laughs> wow, there's way more stuff. God, I was just looking at these thinking that's what I get access to. <laughs> Man, okay. So you get, like, way more stuff. Artillery regiments uh, or groups or squads or platoons. We get a HQ section. Um, What are these? Attack helicopters. <laughs> I've just discovered a brand new part of the game. Okay, we got a helicopter team. 
Am I 24 P's? BTR 70s or MI8 M or MI8 TVs? We should get a grad, which is a rocket launcher. Oh, I was just about to decide what I wanted as well. I'm gonna go for the attack helicopters. Why not? We've got some riflemen, we've got some attack helicopters. Uh I don't exactly know how much they are. Oh, they're expensive. But let's get it out onto the field because why the hell would we not do that? Uh, we do get way more points when you get a new... Oh, I don't think actually, I don't think I've been selecting these properly. Right, we need to start moving forwards. We'll keep the Tunguskas with these. Let's uh, get the riflemen in the BMP2s and get them on the way quick. And then once all this is fixed up... Uh, these guys can start moving out. Shulkers, you can stay close. TATU HQ squad. And uh, when they're fixed up, which I think they are... Oops. No, I don't want to switch like that. We'll move the supply forwards. We'll get them moving as well. Looks like you do move slower in the forests. BTR 70s on the way as well. MI 24Ps to support my left attack. And then I can switch them over to the right once I need them. I've actually got more available. Let's bring out another MI-24P on the left as well. Let's hope they don't have anti-air. BDRM scout in the way with the T-80Us behind. Looks like we spotted something. Thanks. Uh, let's get the MI-24Ps over. They should be able to engage the tanks. Drop the riflemen off so they can push forwards on foot. Ooh, we're under artillery fire. Just move T-80s. Tunguska's here to suppress and panic the planes. It looks like we didn't really get anything off there. Let's move over to the left. Shulk is kind of ahead of where we want troops, really. I want to push around this forest. I don't really want to push through that forest and then attack through the open ground. I am a tank regiment. Let's be tanky. Uh, we'll keep our supplies somewhere in the center. And we get a new task force, which should mean more points as well. Um, I think we've got enough attack helicopters. I kind of want some artillery, but at the same time... Artillery is a bit... Oh, look at that. Napalm going off in the back there. Artillery feels like it's a bit slower. I think I would like some more tanks, if I'm honest. Hmm... You get some tanks and some artillery there. What are they? It's a different kind of artillery. I don't know the names off the top of my head. These guys here are mortars. They kind of automatically attack with a uh, multiple rocket launcher as well. Uh, let's kind of get that out because I, I want to see the rocket launcher. Um, a bit expensive. We will bring out the BDRM for the left to do some scouting duties for me. To attack too far forward with that shield car. Uh, on the right, how are we getting on? Just push forwards. Looks like they're trying to smoke off that position. Riflemen are on the way. Drop them off. Tunguskas, keep the Tunguskas close. BDRMs move forward a little bit because they're not actually engaging. Um, we got a couple of the same things. I'm not sure if one's better than the other. HE frag rounds. Oops. Drop a bomb. Looks like someone's out. Okay, MI-24Ps are out of ammo. So let's get them away. Drop the riflemen off. Push them forwards on foot. Um, I don't know how these land. I'm hoping they just resupply. Got 90. Okay, okay, good. We force back the leopard. Hold the BDRM there. Okay, we've got 100. We've got 100 points. Uh, I want to get the rocket artillery out, so we'll wait for that. Looks like they do just resupply while hovering. And I think the green means they're full again. So we'll bring them over. Okay, the other ones need resupply. And I don't know whether you can run out of resupply. No idea. Uh, six minutes left. 
kind of slow moving right now. VDRM can be on the front. So let's re kind of button up the. Okay, just as we did that, we'll get him out again. And I've noticed here if the rifleman is kind of grayed out, that means they're buttoned up. And uh, if they're not, then that means they're not buttoned up. <laughs> they're out on the ground. Uh, looks like the shulkers didn't quite suppress that. I think it was because I used a move command. You do get your units back as well. There's like a... If you lose units, the points go into like a separate thing. And then they eventually come back. Um, it just takes some time. Okay, we really need to stop getting a move on. These guys come across. You guys button back. Um, yeah, button back up. Five minutes remaining. We'll just get back inside so that you're better. Oh, we want more, some more tanks on that left-hand side for sure. I suppose we've got the MI-24P. The HQ is doing the work. And then we've got to attack the center town. Looks like we found a mortar. The T-80U should be fine at dealing with that. We've got Zeta, so let's push forward onto Epsilon. Um, Zone I'm going to leave these on... Mm, no, I'm not, because we've only got like five minutes. 95 points. I really, uh, we did get the rocket. Oh, my... Uh, let's rush T-80U down to deal with these. Um, yeah, we, we don't really have any cheap tanks. It's a massive shame right now. In fact, actually, my 24P can come across. Bring them across from both sides. Okay, looks like we got Theta. And, uh, yeah, I, I could do with, like, more tanks, but I don't have the cash. I don't know whether there's a range limit on the grad. I assume there is. Um, but it doesn't really tell me, and I don't know whether there's, like, an armory. Zone lost. I haven't really looked into it too much. We lost a zone. We lost um, Alpha here. Let's barrage that. Ooh, okay. He's got anti-air, which doesn't help me. HQ's taking hits as well. Things are going pretty wrong for me right now. <laughs> We're definitely not doing as well as I was a moment ago. Oh, we lost the HQ. And these guys are out of ammo. Yeah, I think maybe, uh... <laughs> Maybe I was a bit more efficient last time because I chose more tanks. Because I didn't realise what I could choose. Oh, I think we killed... Possibly killed all that stuff. Let's bring the tanks across. Uh, the riflemen are unsupported. Let's see whether we can do a... Rocket attack. See what the launch is like. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. See what the That's pretty cool. You can see they're entrenched lot under the barricades. Okay, looks like we did finally kill that stuff. Uh the TATU can just sort of stay in the area. Get the rifleman out. Uh, things definitely haven't gone as well as they did in the previous game. Um, right, we've got loads of points now. Let's get some tanks across. Uh, we'll get some riflemen up. And... Yeah, we'll get a BDR, BRDM up. I always say BDRM. <laughs> uh, we've only got a minute... 25 left. I think I played a 30 minute game last time and I think that's why because I had a bit more time. So it's probably a little bit more careful. Um, but I have purposely restricted it. You can change the time limit. You've got a choice of 20 minutes, 30 minutes 
for 40 minutes. One minute remaining. And also, there is like a victory counter. I don't think it's a case that you have to get absolutely everything in the game. Uh, all the points. I think there is like a victory counter. Let's get my helicopters back up. See if we can hit this Gepard with the rocket, um, rocket artillery. You can set them to control groups as well. That gives you the little number. Let's check. Yeah, it looks like there's 10 control groups. Uh, T80 user out of ammo, but I don't think they're going to make it in time. See, so, yeah, so this is a normal move command. You can you can drag. You can also select, like, way more units, and you can just select them all and click and drag and have them in formations. Uh, I think I'm just used to, because it's Steel Division, and clearly... Okay, there we go. There's the end of the game, so... Um... It said objective completed. Did we win? Blue, ah, uh, result. Blue contested victory. So we won, but only just. We got like a minor victory from the, the looks of it. We got 443 victory points, three captured objectives, 59 um, soldiers. I'm guessing that's kind of soldiers slash units dead. Uh, we destroyed 116. 103 wounded, 211 wounded on the red side, 5 missing. That's uh, interesting <laughs> that they're missing. 15 on the red side and then 20 vehicles lost compared to 45. So it's 1.85 kill to death ratio. We were actually playing 1 versus 2, but I I, I didn't know how to, to make a 1v1 AI match. You can add an AI to your side and have like you and an ai versus two ais but i couldn't work out how to do one versus one <laughs> so there are a few kind of things that i think need um tweaking as well the ui is a it's, it's a bit basic it's a bit simple uh here we've got like the kill list or the engagement the chronology i guess um that shows it all and yeah, I mean the display is a little bit basic. They are this is still a demo. I'm hopefully going to say that before we start playing and you think this is a brand new game and the, the game's released. This is a demo at this stage and so I th I think I read that it's a 2021 release date. So I'm imagining towards the end of 2021 because we're in June now. And I feel like they could still do some work on the UI and things like that. But we all know that companies now tend to release before they've, the finished project's actually finished. Um, but yeah, there could be some UI differences. What I'm going to do is hopefully play a different mode. So I was on the attack mode there. There's also a defense mode, which I imagine is the attack mode switched around. So the AI will attack you and you will defend. Um, this is still a demo, so I don't know whether it's got multiplayer in it. There wasn't an option on the demo, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, there is also another mode called the meeting engagement mode, which I imagine is like conquest. It, it's where you both start in a um, supply area and then go and capture the flag. So we're going to play that mode now, and we're going to have a look at that one as well. <laughs> 